leo tutajifunza namna ya kujitambulisha na tutaanza na jina utakapotakiwa kutaja jina lako utaulizwa hivi what is your name what's your name what is your name what's your name na wewe utajibu hivi kama unaitwa Azari Eliakim ukaulizwa what's your name utajibu my name is Azar Eliakim My name is Azar Eliakim My name is Azar Eliakim Na umri wako utakapotakiwa kutaja utaulizwa hivi How old are you How old are you How old are you Kama una miaka 30 28 40 utataja kulingana na miaka ulionayo. Lakini kwa mfano, mtu huyu aliyejibu ana miaka nane. Atajibu hivi baada ya kuulizwa, "How are you?" atasema, "I am 28 years old." I am 28 years old. I'm 28 years old. Manake nina miaka nane. Utakapotakiwa kutaja unatokea wapi? Utaulizwa hivi. Where do you come from? Where do you come from? Where do you come from? Utajibu kulingana na mahali unapotokea. E, kwa mfano, kama uko nchi ambayo ni tofauti na Tanzania, itabidi ujibu kulingana na nchi unayotoka kama uko mkoa ambao ni tofauti na mkoa unaotoka jibu kwa kutumia mkoa unaotoka na kama uko mkoani uko wilaya nyingine jibu kwa kutumia jibu kulingana na wilaya unakotoka kwa mfano uko nchi tofauti na Tanzania kwa mfano umeenda nchi ya jirani au nchi yoyote ya nje ya Tanzania ukaulizwa where do you come from utasema i come from Tanzania I come from Tanzania. Kama uko Tanzania, kwa mfano wewe uko Dar es Salaam na unatokea Mwanza. Ukaulizwa where do you come from? Utasema I come from Mwanza. I come from Mwanza. Na kama uko Mwanza na pengine unatokea wilaya ya Mwanza na uko wilaya nyingine ya tofauti na Mwanza ukaulizwa where do you come from itabidi ujibu kwamba i come from Mwanza i come from Mwanza na pengine unaweza kutaka kutaja labda ninatoka wilaya ya Mwanza wilaya ni district district mkoa ni region region kwa hiyo ukitaka kusema ninatoka au ninatokea mkoa wa Mwanza utasema I come from Mwanza region I come from Mwanza region na kama unatokea wilaya ya Mwanza unataka useme ninatokea wilaya ya Mwanza utasema I come from Mwanza district I come from Mwanza district Swali so, lingine linaweza likahusu mahali unapoishi mahali unapoishi utataja hasa mahali unapoishi kwa wakati huo wakati unaulizwa swali kwa mfano kama uko e, Dar es Salaam pengine unakaa Ubungo ukaulizwa where do you live utasema i live at Ubungo i live at Ubungo where do you live i live at Ubungo na pengine Unaweza ukatakiwa kutaja jina la mama yako na jina la baba yako. Kwa hiyo unapoulizwa jina lako utaulizwa what is your name? What's your name? Na utakapotakiwa kutaja jina la mama utaulizwa what is your mother's name? What is your mother's name? What's your mother's name? utajibu kulingana na jina la mama yako. Kwa mfano kama mama anaitwa 
pengine e, Joyce Joel utasema my mother's name is Joyce Joel my mother's name is Joyce Joel na jina la baba kama baba anaitwa e, Joel James ukaulizwa what is your father's name what's your father's name utasema my father's name is Joel James my father's name is Joel James pengine pia unaweza ukatakiwa kutaja unafanya kazi gani kama wewe ni mwanafunzi utataja kwamba mimi ni mwanafunzi kama ni mfanyabiashara utasema mimi ni mfanyabiashara kama pengine ni mkulima utasema mimi ni mkulima lakini swali litaulizwa hivi what is your occupation what is your occupation what's your what's your occupation what's your occupation utasema kama wewe ni mwanafunzi kwa mfano utasema i am a student i am a student i am a student kama wewe ni mkulima utasema i am a farmer i am a farmer kama wewe ni engineer utasema i am an engineer i am an engineer kama wewe ni daktari utasema i am a doctor i am a doctor na kama wewe ni mfanyabiashara wa kiume utasema i am a businessman i am a businessman kama wewe ni mfanyabiashara wa kike utasema i am a business woman i am a business woman hapo utakuwa unajibu swali what is your occupation what's your occupation <coughs> 